Its official name is Tax Increment Financing, or TIF for short. It means the city issues bonds to pay for infrastructure for the project, like roads, streets, and parks, and then the property tax revenue generated from the project goes not to the city's general fund, but to pay back the bonds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? This morning, the board of, develop of the board of the Baltimore Development Corporation unanimously approved the Port Covington TIF, the biggest the city's ever seen, at $535 million. It's intended to pay for the infrastructure of the project, a big piece of land just south of Interstate 95 near the Hanover Street Bridge. It is to be developed by Under Armour's Kevin Plank. The project includes a new headquarters for the company, other office space, housing and retail. Its total cost... $5.5 billion, most of it paid for through private investment. Before the vote today, one board member brought up last spring's unrest in Baltimore to stress the project should have a broad benefit to the city. Because of the things that happened in our city over the last year that have destroyed it and impacted it so greatly that people look at whether or not they want to come into our city. So it's important that all of our people benefit a city official said today that the city is dealing with the developer called Sagamore Develop Development on issues such as local hiring, affordable housing. Some of those agreements should be available within the next month. The TIF proposal now heads to the city's Board of Finance, then to the city council. It will be up to Council President Jack Young to decide which council committee hears the proposal. As today, if Young supports the TIF, a spokesman told us, quote, he's intrigued. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.